During World War II, wheeled armored vehicles were used extensively in frontline combat operations as a supplement to armored forces. They performed a wide range of tasks, including reconnaissance, flanking maneuvers, and communication. Some armored vehicles were even equipped with large caliber cannons and engaged in combat with tanks. Among these vehicles were specifically designed combat vehicles, as well as some that were converted from other vehicles. The Canadian Otter Light Armored Reconnaissance Car belonged to the latter category. At that time, Canada was part of the British Commonwealth and automatically joined the war after it broke out. Due to the significant loss of supplies on the front lines by the British, Canada took on the responsibility of rear area factories, contributing a large amount of material and equipment to the Commonwealth. The Otter Light Armored Reconnaissance Car was developed by Canada in 1942. It was based on the chassis of a Chevrolet C-15 military truck and utilized many common parts, which helped to reduce production pressure and make the most of existing production lines to ensure capacity. The Otter Armored Car used welded armor, with relatively weak defensive capabilities. The frontal armor was only 12 mm thick and could only withstand small caliber weapons and shell fragments. The front of the engine compartment had a louvered armor that could be closed during combat, and the driver's position had a small hinged window. The vehicle also featured a small conical single-person turret on top, which housed a. Another version of the vehicle removed this turret. Its weapon configuration was relatively simple, with its standard setup generally comprising a British boys anti-tank rifle. This rifle used a .55-inch caliber and was not considered an outstanding anti-tank rifle. However, it was able to penetrate the thin armor of light armored vehicles when firing tungsten core rounds, although it quickly became inadequate during World War II. The Otter Armored Car's secondary weapon was the Bren light machine gun. All Otter Armored Cars were equipped with radios for timely communication, with two antennas standing on the rear of the vehicle. In order to create a more comfortable combat environment, there was an exhaust fan next to the boy's anti-tank rifle, which was particularly important in hot regions like North Africa. The Otter Armored Car had a crew of three people, with the driver next to the vehicle commander, who was also responsible for operating the anti-tank rifle mounted on the vehicle. In the central position of the vehicle was a small turret housing the machine gunner, who was the main source of machine gun firepower output. Throughout the entire World War II, Canada produced a total of 1760 Otter armored reconnaissance cars, with fewer than 1,000 of them being deployed overseas for use. The majority of these vehicles were used by the Canadian military itself, as well as by the Royal Air Force of the United Kingdom and a small number by the South African military. The British Royal Air Force also used the 20mm machine guns removed from aircraft. The Otter Armored Car had an empty weight of 4,404 kg and a loaded weight of approximately 5 tons. It was 4.496 meters long, 2.159 meters wide, and 2.438 meters high, and was powered by a 106 horsepower GMC six cylinder engine with four wheel drive, capable of reaching a maximum speed of 75 km per hour.